and of propanone. In this experiment, we'll be looking at the reaction between iodine, propanone, and hydrochloric acid, and we'll be monitoring the reaction in a colorimeter. Uh, you may be able to see that on this colorimeter, we've selected filter number three, the blue-green filter, at 419 nanometers, as recommended in our worksheet. And the first thing we need to do is to put our cuvette, same orientation, same way around, into the colorimeter, cover it to make sure that no extraneous light is getting in, and zero the machine. And you can see that we are in fact seeing an absorbance reading of very close to zero. The next thing that we're required to do is to construct a calibration curve for various concentrations of iodine. The thing we need to do is to dilute the iodine solution as recommended in the instructions and the first one requires five centimeters cubed of distilled water and five centimeters cubed of iodine. So I've already set up the automatic pipette which makes things very easy and here we've got five centimeters cubed of the iodine solution into our boiling tube. And next we'll require five centimeters cubed of distilled water. And the final thing to do is to mix that up. Make sure it's thoroughly mixed before introducing it into the cuvette. Well, I haven't got a pipette, so I'll attempt to pour this in. And as long as I don't spill any down the side of the cuvette, we'll be fine. Success. Place that in the colorimeter. Extinguish the extraneous light. And you can see that the reading is 1.86, 1.87 absorbance units, so it is on scale. Now I need to record that in the table of results. So we can see for 5 centimetres cubed of the 0.02 molar iodine plus 5 centimetres cubed of distilled water, we've got a reading of, uh, check that again, 1.87. I'm writing with my left hand none too clear. According to the table, the next solution that we require is to mix six centimeters cubed of water with four centimeters cubed of the 0.02 iodine solution. So I've already calibrated the automatic pipette. That's four centimeters cubed of the iodine solution. and now six centimeters cubed of distilled water. Once again, give them a mix. This time I have a dropping pipette to make it easy to transfer into the cuvette and just make sure it's fully mixed into the cuvette. Same cuvette as we used before, which has been washed.
Same orientation into the colorimeter. Get rid of the extraneous light. And this reading is 1.62, 1.63. And we record that in the table. Again, my left-handed writing, not too good. Next dilution of iodine calls for three centimeters cubed of the 0 0.02 molar iodine solution. And seven centimeters cubed of distilled water. Already adjusted the automatic pipettes. Give it a mix. And introduce into the cuvette. And now we have a reading of 1 1.33, 1.32, 1.33. Next one, two centimeters cubed of the 0 0.02 molar iodine solution. and eight centimeters cubed of distilled water. A little mix. You can mix with a pipette. Into the cuvette. Take a reading this time naught point nine six, naught point nine seven. And uses one centimeter cubed of the iodine solution. And nine centimeters cubed of water. You can see the color of the iodine a lot less intense now. into the cuvette. And take a reading. And that's a reading of point five four point five five. and just the distilled water 
but I think I'm going to try with the cuvette we've been using because the iodine has discoloured the cuvette somewhat. I'm not sure you can really pick that up on the video. So I'll rinse that out with distilled and then take a reading with that. Of course, important to rinse more than once. So we'll take a reading on this one. And they're using distilled water and the same cuvette. We've got 0 0.03. And just to compare with the cuvette with, that was originally used to zero the um, colorimeter, that gives a reading of 0 0.02, 0 0.03, so about the same. Okay, the iodination of propanone experiment. I'm going to be doing experiment A, and I already have mixed up here in the boiling tube uh, the iodine solution, the hydrochloric acid, and the water in the proportions shown there for experiment A. When I add two centimeters cubed to the propanone, that's when the reaction starts, and I'll start the clock and then put some in the cuvette over here and then start recording uh, the readings uh, on the colorimeter. So are we ready to start? Here we go. Start the clock, mix the reaction mixture, we need a time zero but of course we have to mix thoroughly first, fill the cuvette with the reaction mixture, so we've been going for 10 seconds, remove the water and there's the zero reading and the zero reading is 0.74. So I'll be taking readings every 30 seconds. That was actually after 30 seconds, so it's 0.74 absorbance units.